Hey beer tubers, it's Ryan back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog and today I'm looking at yet another IPA. This one is very much local to me. If you've seen my video I did at the brewery the day they opened, then you might know about this brand new brewery here in Vista, California and that is Iron Fist. Now Iron Fist, if you saw my video said that, or I was talking with head brewer Brandon that he wasn't going to be doing an IPA. Well, after they opened, they got so many people asking them, please do an IPA. So he decided, well, you know what, okay, I'll do one. If people are demanded, I'll, I'll brew one up and I'll do it my way. And so this is the Gauntlet. This is a 9.5% Imperial IPA. So I forget all the varieties he used in this, but I know he used Magnum for bittering. He used uh, Mount Hood. Um, I think Centennial and Chinook, something like that. I wish I'd remembered. And he dry hopped it three times as well. And as is the style of Iron Fist, all their bottles so far are 750s. They're all hand bottled, hand labeled, and they're all bottle conditioned. So you can see I have a nice three finger, very small bubbles due to that bottle conditioning. Good amount of carbonation. It's, a, it's on the darker side for some double IPAs. It's kind of got a dark orange kind of going into almost a little bit of red tints in there as well. So let's get the nose on this one. Now I, I have had this beer before and my thoughts on this, it's sort of like East Coast meets West Coast. You do get that, uh, some grapefruit on the nose, um, like a sweeter grapefruit, and then you get uh, a ton of like floral notes, it is big time floral notes, and then underneath that there's a little bit of a, like a pine, pininess, a little earthiness quality to it as well. So it's a very nice smelling beer. Something's a little different than you see for the rest of the uh, kind of West Coast style IPAs. So, uh, I'm going to dig into this. Cheers. Mm, that is, this is a tasty IPA. Um, for 9.5%, it's actually very bitter up front. Um, he, he, he must use a ton of hops, high alpha acid hops for the most part. Although Mount Hood's pretty low, but Magnum kind of helps give it that really clean, bittering taste that you get kind of right up front. And then you start getting some of the, of more like a bitter grapefruit quality, like a, a zest, a grapefruit zest almost to the beer. Um, there is a little bit of floral notes, but you also get much more pine in the taste than on the nose. This one's actually from what I can remember, actually more bitter, it seems like, from the bottle than it was on, on draft at the brewery. Um, you, you get a nice smacky hop, but it's a clean, it's fairly clean, so it doesn't kind of have like a real astringent lingering effects on your tongue. There's enough of that malt background, after all it's nine and a half percent. Kind of gives, he kind of probably, he used some Darko Crystal malts on this one to give it more of a, a caramel-like background. Um, a little bit of breadiness in there as well. The more I drink it, the more my tongue gets kind of used to that hot blast up front. Some of the malt character comes out more. The, more so with the caramel notes. But it's a really smooth drinking IPA. Imperial IPA in this case. Um, yeah, it's kind of scary how drinkable this beer is at 9.5%. You're going to really feel it after if you were to drink this whole bottle. It's leaving some real nice lacing on there as well. Now Iron Fist, they kind of specialize in Belgian style ales. But recently they just did this Imperial IPA and then they also did an Imperial Stout which I'll be getting to eventually. And so far they've been fantastic for their non-Belgian stuff. But I'll, I'll probably get to their Belgian stuff at a later date. Um, but I'm going to give this um, an A minus. Um, this is a, uh, it's an excellent IPA. I, I mean, I, I've got this pretty fresh, so it's got a good amount of hop character. Hopefully it stays in there. I mean, you dry hop the heck out of it. It's got a really nice aroma. It's very smooth for 9.5%. Alcohol is well hidden. I mean, there's a lot of characteristics that um, 
that are there in a great Imperial IPA. So I thought he, for someone who didn't, wasn't really keen on brewing up an IPA for his brewery, he did an excellent job with this one. And this is the first batch of this as well. So I believe this is gonna be like a quarterly re release or so. Um, that's at least the, uh, the their plan last I heard. So that's gonna do it for the Gauntlet Imperial IPA from Iron Fist. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. And I'll put the links, if you wanna order this, there's a couple shops in town that you can uh, order this from if you want to get a hold of it because it's getting small distribution in San Diego which continually grows but outside of San Diego it's probably not a whole lot of places right now so put those links until next time cheers